Hey guys, today I will be taking apart the Sidewinder X4 keyboard from Microsoft. And as always guys, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. I appreciate either one. Alright, let's turn it over. And it looks like it has Phillips screws on the back here to take out. Okay, get my screwdriver out here. Start right here. Looks like a good spot for you. Got one out. And guys, usually I don't fast forward through any of this. So, sorry if you have to watch me take screws out, but. I do the whole video unless it's unless it's longer than say 10 minutes I'll probably skip through this but if it's not I'm, I won't skip through it I'll go through the whole video and you'll see me take each screw out so sorry if you guys don't like that if you don't like that put a thumbs down I'd appreciate it thumbs up thumbs down Right, taking these out pretty fast. Don't worry, guys, we're almost to the main event here. Said these guys at Microsoft like to put a lot of screws in their keyboard. Okay. They just want to hold it together. So I'm not mad at them for that. All right, coming up on the end here. All right, we're getting there. And I believe I got them all. Unless there's a secret hidden screw somewhere. I hope not. Alright, let's break this seal here. Alright. Break the seal, guys. We got those all around. Let's go to this side here. All right. That one's maybe the back left here now. There we go. Okay. Now I've gotten all the way around and it still won't move, so I'm beginning to think there's a hidden screw here somewhere. There usually is. But I'm not going to be fooled. Get under the sticker here. I think there's a screw under here. I think there is. They thought they could hide it from me, guys. But there was a hidden screw under the sticker. Let me check these. There you look, there's like indentations. Okay, I'm not getting anything else. Hopefully, that was the culprit. It was. And it has been separated. This is the top part. It took off. 
This is the rear of it. Okay. They stay in pretty good. I, I thought they were going to all fall out, but they stay in pretty good. Now, onto the main board here is the rubber pad. Each switch is connected to. Okay. Take this rubber pad up. Here we go. And then you can see the main circuit. Let's see if I can get this off or have to screw it off. Let's see. There we go. Get that. It's connected at the end over here. So I'll take that screw off. Now, the final part, the main controller right here, alright, Oh, here it is. I've never seen a plastic circuit panel like this before. It's pretty cool. Let me get all my poor electronics off this here. Let's see if I can. More screws. I thought I was done. Whoops. I just never stopped taking out screws. It's never. My screwdriving work is never done. Think I got all of them. Think I did this time. Yes. All right. And this plastic back end that was on there. Now, get off. This is all the wires. So it gets the wire out here. Little teeny screw at the end here on this board with the. LEDs well, are finally separated. This is the back. I ain't got everything out. Now, move on to these here. All right, where's my screwdriver? You can see, let me see if I get a close up. On this board, I can actually see the resistors. There's three of them right here. The LEDs, the light emitting diodes, right here. This one also, this is the, the other board. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. It fell off, but these are also LEDs. Oops. Alright, there's the other board. There's another board here. And some more resistors. There's another one with more. This is 
is the main board here, main control module. A lot of the integrated circuits over here. LEDs. All right. And then, I don't know if I can. It's very hard to see some of this stuff. So, it's not like I'm. I want to miss some of this stuff, guys, but it's hard to see without magnifying it. So, sorry about that, guys. Alright, and I believe this is a capacitor over here. And we have some little transistors. Yeah, you guys probably won't even be able to see this. <laughs> yeah, I need to magnify this stuff. But, yeah, the, basically what is in most electronic components they have integrated circuits they have LEDs capacitors resistors transistors inductors those are like the, the basic components okay guys but anyway thank you guys for watching my video Hope you like it. Hope you would. It was insightful. And as I said earlier in the video, if you watched it this far, if you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. I'd appreciate it. Okay, guys. Bye bye.